If you want to learn how to create an interactive camera zoom in Animate CC, you should buckle up and enjoy today's little animation and interactivity jam. The camera tool in Animate CC comes in handy to tell stories in a movie-like experience. You can create pan and zoom shots with ease using the timeline. But we want to take it a step further today and let the user decide where to pan and zoom using a click or touch gesture. Or in other words, use a little script to animate the camera dynamically. Let's take a look at the final project. When the user clicks anywhere on the map, the camera focuses and zooms in on that particular spot. Another click moves the camera back to the initial position. So how do we do that? Within the anime project as such, we only have the different layers for the visual elements and a camera layer on top of it. But without any animation. I have added a script layer to contain my JavaScript. This is where the magic happens. Here we go. It is in fact pretty straightforward. First we save the reference to the camera instance in a variable and cache the initial values. We also use the window object to retrieve information about the device pixel ratio for accurate calculations later on. We register a click event on the entire scene and use a simple if clause to switch between zoom in and zoom out. The create.js screen allows us to create dynamic animations for the camera using the x and y coordinates of the click event and apply a scaling. Don't forget to change the zoom variable of course later on. If you are not yet familiar with dynamic animations, check out the CreateJS documentation or let me know in the comment section below if you want me to do a tutorial on that. Well, that's pretty much it. See? Of course you can use this as a starting point and tweak it any way you like. For example, zooming further in with each click and use shift and click or right click to zoom out and so on. I can't wait to see the ideas you will come up with. And I hope you have as much fun with the sample as I did. Feel free to leave a comment or post any question you might have. Stay tuned and subscribe for more videos and tips and tricks for interactive animations. Happy animating!